Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. So today's video is already deep into Valentine's Day. Like we are a few weeks away and the stores already have the candy out. So I was like, you know what? Let me just give you guys some looks that you could do in case you have a special date indoors. Um, so today's look is gonna be very simple. It's for anybody. You can do this as a beginner, an expert, intermediate, whatever. Anybody can do this look. So let's get started. Today we are doing a one eyeshadow look. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Brushes 35C palette and possibly the 35N palette. But this look is gonna be featuring one color only. And of course, for Valentine's Day, it's always pink. So we are gonna be working with this pink magenta color right here with a little bit of this, but we are focusing on one color. We're working with pink today. I'm so excited because pink looks good on melanin. Even if you don't have as much melanin as me, pink is gonna look good on you too, okay? So let's jump into this tutorial. So I already did my brows off camera. If you wanna see my eyebrow tutorial, let me know down in the description box below. I primed my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. We are going to start off with the eyes and what we're gonna do is we are gonna prime our eyes again with another e.l.f. product. We are going to use the Putty Eye Primer. This is the white primer. I have this one and I have the tan one. For today, we are going to be using the white one. And what you wanna do is just get this on your lid I like using my fingers because it warms it up and it allows me to move the product how I like. All right, so I know I look crazy, but my lids are primed. I really do look crazy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I am gonna go in with my tapered crease brush. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna go in with my blending crease brush. And this is by Sonia Kashuk. And what I am going to do is I'm going to pick up this pink right here. This is the magenta pink. This is coming out of the 35C palette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in my crease. Once you've packed it, you wanna blend it out. So I love these Morphe palettes because the colors are so pigmented. Like this is just one pickup like, and I tapped it off too, cause I always tap off the excess, but the colors are amazing. I've had this palette for years. And what I am doing is just blending it outwards. Blending it up and outwards. That e.l.f. putty primer is so amazing because the product just sticks to it. It doesn't stick to it like glue, but it just holds onto the product. It picks up the pigment and it still allows you to move the product how you want. That's what I love about it. So we're repeating the same thing on the other eye. Pack it into your crease and then in circular motion, just blend it outwards. Blend it up and out. Follow the shape of your eye. It makes it easy. All right, next we are going to move in with a flat brush. We are going to pick up that same color and now we're gonna apply it to our lid. Always tap off the excess because you don't want any palm shadow falling on your skin. So we have our color on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same brush that I started with, my blending crease brush, and I'm just gonna diffuse everything and blend everything. I don't have any harsh lines, but I want everything to just be seamless. With one color, it's not really difficult. Um, you're not really gonna have too many harsh lines, but you never know. So go back in with your brush and just blend away. Now we are gonna move to the lower lash line. And I am just using my Morphe M408 brush. This is like a pretty dense but somewhat soft brush. I'm gonna pick up that same color. Tap off the excess. And what I'm doing is I'm just dra dragging that color to the outer corner of my eye. 
right there. All right, I'm gonna take a makeup wipe. This is brand new. And I'm just gonna clean off the sides because I'm about to do my face. So I'm just gonna clean off any fallout. So I'm going to do my face on camera, but I'm gonna speed it up. If you guys wanna see how I do my base and how I do my face, please let me know. I can do an entire video on that just for you all. All right, so I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm just putting on a bit of mascara. The lashes I'm using are by Ardell. These are the Wispies. Um, they're like pretty, but they're not over the top. So anybody can rock them. Anybody who knows how to put on lashes. I'm sorry if you don't 
All I can really say is practice makes perfect. All right, my lashes are on. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this black eyeliner and I am going to line my lower lash line. And honestly, what I think this does, is it just makes it, um, I don't know what the word is. It gives it this smoky effect, which I think is just gorgeous. So you're going to take, I learned this from one of my favorite YouTubers, Mena. You're gonna take a clean or dirty brush and you're gonna pull your eye down like this and you're gonna line it. This prevents you from putting your hand on your face, which prevents you from sponging your makeup. It's just amazing. For the lips, I'm going to go in with my NYX. This is my favorite like lip liner. It's my NYX um, Professional Lip Liner in Espresso. Just gonna align your lips. I'm going in with my MAC Please Me. I know you're looking like, Phoebe, what in the world is this? But, patience, grab your lip liner, go back in. Line. Blend everything. And then I'm going in with my XY, <laughs> with my NYX um, Butter Gloss in the color Cinnamon. We're not done yet. I'm gonna go in next with my Maybelline lip liner in Lifter Gloss. This is in the color Crystal. I'm gonna put this right over. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna set our face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is supposed to hold for 16 hours. <laughs> Hey now, I don't know what you guys plan to do for Valentine's Day, but 16 hours is a lot of time. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me, sorry. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I um took my twist out, fluffed out my hair, threw on a headband. I could actually go without the headband because I laid my edges down, but we're gonna throw on the headband just for a little pizzazz. Um, this is the look. I hope you guys found this as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, if you tried this look out, please let me know. You don't have to do, you don't have to use the Morphe palette. You can use any palette that you want. You can use any color that you want. What I was trying to show you all today is that you can literally have an amazing look with just one color. You don't have to buy an expensive eyeshadow palette. You don't have to have the best brushes. I literally used three brushes for this entire look. I hope you guys give this look a try. Let me know if you do it for Valentine's Day and let me know what your boo thinks. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for today's video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Please, if you have not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe! Anyway, again, thank you all for joining me and I will see you later. We don't say bye around here. <laughs>